Is that you? Camera. Oh, fishing in the mid south. Hello. I mean, I'm not on uh, anybody's live, but mine. I can beep on my channel if I want to. What's up, fishing in the mid south? Welcome in. Yes, you are the first one. Uh, four people. Welcome, everybody. See if we get anybody else in, and I'll go over some things of what we're doing. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you guys. Cold Creek Catfishing, welcome, welcome in. Hello, how are you doing? So we're dragging Chickamauga Lake, kind of like normal. Uh, we were going to go to a different spot I wanted to try, but when I went through and scanned it, it was empty. So decided to come back here and check this creek out. And this back creek was loaded down. So we're going to see if there's any catfish up here and uh, if they feel like chewing. Not with my wife today, so I'm expecting to catch a 500 pounder. <laughs> well, expecting her to catch a 500 pounder, not me. It is hot out here and I forgot the fans. Yeah, water temp is pretty high too. Yeah, I, I don't know if something's wrong, but it's all of a sudden saying water temp is 73 degrees when Monday it was 64. We are fishing with frozen bait because I was a little too lazy to go get bait. Well, I'm not lazy. I had to work today. So we have frozen bait. Cut it kind of small. Hopefully it'll thaw out rather quickly in the water. I think I'm going to have to start bringing, just leaving changes of clothes on the boat. <laughs> I mean, I got a knife. I can turn those into shorts really easy. <laughs> Oh, I should have messaged Josh and told him I was going live so he could have put us up at the bait shop. Of course, bait shop will be closing pretty soon. Hope we catch a pig. Well, I hope so too. Thank you for that. Do you have Josh on Facebook? More folks, welcome in, welcome in. Doing a little catfishing. On this extremely warm day.
just go fishing. already started a little bit. <laughs> and these are the days where they tell you you're getting wind and there's nothing. I think we got a snag on the outside yellow board. Kick free. It's going back a little slow. All right, no new chats. Three folks in here. Actually, I guess two since you're watching. Glasses are so tinted I can't see. <laughs> the last comment was Cold Creek saying hope we catch a pig. Five folks in, welcome, welcome. We just got on the water a few minutes ago. Hey, Catfish Terry, how you doing? Welcome in. Eight folks, thank you, thank you. Well, we're dragging Lake Chickamauga. And the spot I wanted to go was Bobcat spot, but there were no fish in Bobcat spot because I sore lift him. He's in there, says I'm in his spot. That's why I said that. Um, so I decided to come to one of my favorite spots to fish. Hi, Bob. Hey, Bob, I don't know if you were in here. <laughs> I worked, I worked today till one. Hey, Bob, do you, the weather went, or the water temps went from 65 on Monday when I, when I was out to 73 today. Doesn't that just seem like too high, too quick? Wondering if my uh, transducer has an issue. Yeah, he said, wow. I mean, that, yeah, it does seem like it's just gone up quick. Well, next week's all supposed to be in the lower 70s. We're not supposed to have any 80 degree days next week. It's supposed to rain Friday. Well, next week I'll probably be super busy at work and can't get away. Because <laughs> that's just how it goes. Yeah, she had a slow week at work this week, so I was able to steal her. Yeah, depth does, yeah. Well, it was showing 78 when I was uh, out in the main channel looking at, or um, 73 when I was out in the main channel, too, so. Try to get some shade. Going back, make sure I didn't miss anybody. I would have fresh bait, but Bobcat got in my truck and took all my fresh bait last night. Bait thief. Of course, I'm kidding.
Yeah, you said cats will do that, meaning cats will still bait that, uh, fish out of trucks. Brian B, what's up, Bubbles? Brian B, catfishing in the his house. Hey, Brian, how's my green screen look? Does it actually look like I'm fishing? Because I'm working on this one for your next tournament, so I can just chill at the house. So I need to know how my green screen's looking. It's not fuzzy or anything, is it? <laughs> I don't know if I saw Freddy in, in Hooks and Hammock out here, but I saw another catfishing boat go by. had a bunch of rods out the back of it. Cold Creek. I'm sure Bob will be doing his night fishing live soon. Bumping. Brian looks good. He needs a new green screen. Yeah, I almost feel like maybe we should have done a night trip today. I guess I underestimated how warm it really was going to be. I didn't bring fans for my baby. Now she's cooking. She's used to being in those freeze dryers and being cold. And now I got her out here in the oven. Yep, she's definitely a hot mama. If you want to follow on my phone, I can't really see with my glasses tinted. I don't know what I can see without a TV I mean, from chat. popping my face up in that up there. Fishing with South, Bob. I just found out last night that you and Brokeback aren't the same person. No. Definitely not. <laughs> That's what Bob said. Definitely not the same person. Yeah, there's like so many Johns out there that I get confused. I wonder if I, what my name is sometimes. People in chat are like, hi, John. I'm like, hey. They're like, oh, not you. Nobody wants to talk to you. Bob says he's way dumber, and Brian says, wow. Yeah, our depth finder's been lit up like the Christmas tree since we got over to this spot. So as we got nine awesome folks in here. Thank you, everybody. We appreciate it. We're going to do our best to turn this into from a fishing show to a catching show. See, the nice thing about no wind is the boat controls running perfect right now, but it's hot. <laughs> But I can always go down below if I need some some shade. No cold creek. Brian doesn't have his boat ready. Brian will never have his boat ready. He's working on green screens.
At least that's what Chad told me. I don't know. Chad could be wrong. I mean, if water temp's really 73, that bait will fall real quick. That's for sure. <laughs> Brian owns a boat. <laughs> he says he does. Bob, Bob put that down. Or he owns a picture of a boat, at least. Chad watches too much TikTok. Oh, that's my oh. Oh, that's the operation bets with nets. So I can catch that up later. Yeah. yeah it's hard to read it. I thought I heard him mention he was close a while back. Yeah. Who knows? Hey, Jeff Beal. Well, the problem is that all the hearts and everything were blocked in the words. Plucking with it now. He says plucking because he's going to make it a chicken boat. Only fishing with chicken. Brian B's new uh, sponsor is going to be Tyson and Purdue. Brian, serious question. Do you switch over to TikTok with the rest of the DC area or are you still doing YouTube? Hey, 217 Rebel Outdoors, welcome in. Right now we have a fishing show. We're trying to make it a catching show. Fishing in Mid-South says he doesn't see any of the DC guys anymore. A lot of people have gone to TikTok. I mean, one of the guys I used to watch way back in the day before I started my YouTube was Chris Souders. And I mean, he occasionally posts on YouTube, but he mainly posts on TikTok now. Brian says he hasn't switched, hasn't been live. Keep on rocking, but you can't come in. Awesome. Didn't catch any live earlier, but did end up catching five. Yeah, I've had that happen. Start catching fish, decide to go live, don't catch anything else, or vice versa. people for following the money i just don't like the video format on tiktok yeah i like it better widescreen to myself but i mean hey i do make shorts and that's that's the same tiktok format but hey 
eight awesome people still hanging out with us. I appreciate it. We have been live 21 minutes. Not sure what you're saying, Bob. I did tell Dana I would I got a knife and I turned her jeans into shorts earlier. And then I did say something about I make shorts on YouTube, even though it's the same camera format as uh, TikTok. I know that's what was kind of said. Need a fish, need a fish. Fish What's up, my bad dude? Well, since you're both here, I mean, I know I didn't tell you both, but congratulations on first place. I might have given you a better run for your money if the wind wasn't so bad and I could have controlled the boat, but I'll take second place for the first tournament that we fished this year. I think the second should be one of my eight best finishes. The unstoppable duo of my bad dude. Oh, there we go. I mean, yeah, you did great. Not my bad dude level, but good. <laughs> we did good up until the wind started blowing, and then. Then we struggled. <clears throat> Wish I could drop a pin for Domino's delivery. <laughs> Are you hungry? I'm always hungry when we fish. <laughs> but I need is fish to bite, so I forget about it. I mean, if... Uh, I'm not hungry when I'm busy. But they want to give me about an hour for this drag. We can deliver it to Boat Dock. I'm going to pull up. <laughs> I got some free strides for you. <laughs> Man, the multi bars are looking good on this boat. <laughs> yep. Hope that tape still holds up from the rods being shoved in and out. It should. Always building over here. Yeah, we do have some construction going on over there, if you can see it. Make sure I put the camera back the right way. Make sure y'all aren't looking out in the middle of the water. John, you should always have both snacks for your lady. She did. She brings her own snacks because I don't eat when I'm fishing. No, so those rod holders are Monster Rod Holders Ranger Edition. And my ingenuitive self took electrical tape that was UV resistant and waterproof and 
wrapped them red, white, and blue because I wanted them to match the Patriot rod holders I got from Multibar. So I took monster rod holders and I customized changed them. them. They're customized. Yeah, they're custom. They're one-offs. Oh, need a fish, need a fish, need a fish, fish, fish. Jeez, I'm in shorts and a short sleeve shirt, and I'm hot. I can't imagine. You sure I don't need to, like, cut your jeans to make them shorts? <laughs> I know you like those jeans a lot, but... <laughs> Fish in your underwear. Geez, we're going to have a couple thousand uh, watchers. No fishing in the thong, babe. Sure. Uh, it's black and green, Bob. It's um, black and then like an OD, OD green. But I like them. Pontoon Jeff, Chef Jody Catfishing. Hello. She says hi, John and Dana. Hi, Jody. Oh, is that going to be a snag or a fish? I'm guessing a snag because it's going back so slow. It just got in Yeah, pop free. Yeah, I definitely don't want to make it that kind of show, Bob. I don't need to be that YouTuber that has his wife fishing in a thong to get hundreds of thousands of subs. I'm not wearing a thong. Mine never cover my butt just <laughs> as much as a bathing suit would. And my shirt's pretty long. It would actually cover most of it anyway. True. Fish in the Mid-South, I thought Dana was watching Catfish Dave. Um, I mean, I don't know. She doesn't, I watch Catfish Dave. She doesn't really care for him, I guess. I don't know. I watch him when he watches them on the TV. But like I said before, like he, he's never done nothing to me, so. I'm sorry I abused your sticker. There was a guy a couple years that made some big numbers that way. Yeah, there's a couple saltwater guys that have that have that. They have their their wives and thongs and stuff fishing. Well, Jody, maybe now that you apologize, the fishing gods will let you catch a fish next Saturday at the tournament since you skunked on the last Saturday. See, I didn't need to say anything to you. I was just letting the fishing gods take care of the karma you had coming. Come on, fish. Hey, is that pontoon Jody over there? I see a pontoon. Is that pontoon Jody? Is she out here? Hey, Josh, thanks. Welcome in. Thanks for having me live. I meant, I even said something to Dana about I should have messaged you. But it was kind of an Im impromptu live. We decided to come fishing today, and I don't know. I didn't feel like hooking up the GoPro and editing videos, so I just decided to go live. Fish in the Mid-South. My plan is to marry Jody and have her out there in a bikini so I can make lots of money. Bob, I can't believe she took your sticker off the pole. You took it off the pole at the boat ramp. You already admitted to that. But, I mean, if the sticker wasn't sticking, I understand that. Doesn't need to look trashy. Needs to look nice. Oh, I want to 
was it? My bad, dude. Wasn't he the one that made the stickers? Maybe he needs stickier stickers. His stickers are sticky. There's just a couple, I guess they were closer to the center of the roll, and they have a, a roll to the sticker itself. Uh, maybe you got to clean the pole before you stick probably. it on there. It's probably just got to Yeah, I didn't clean the it. pole. I just smacked it on the pole. Ooh, wait. Hot, hot, hot. I can't tell if you have sun on your face or if it's the pink from your shirt ricocheting I up and making get, you look. Yeah, I always get sun on my face. Oh, no, you have sun on your face. Yeah. It didn't take long. 15 minutes. Jody, okay. no, I apologize for wiping my tail with yours. <laughs> Must have been a big sticker, Mitch House. <laughs> uh. See, I told him he should turn it into a short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dana wanted me to put it on blast. I was like, yeah, I'll have it on my phone. But... I said, I think people get a kick out of it. <laughs> Well, you get uh, James saying, that's the real Jody. That's what he texts me. He goes, that's the real Jody. Yeah. I was like, well, I mean, I didn't know she was a fake Jody. Whew. It definitely feels about 10 degrees cooler standing here. If you didn't claim the pole before you put it on, that's the problem. His sticker is probably buried in a fire pit somewhere now. Well, we got plenty more. So that's all right. Well, yeah, I mean, I hope Josh didn't put Jody Booty sticker back on the sh on the counter to sell to uh, give away. Hey, fishing in the Mid South might go pay for that sticker, Josh. We could auction it off. Ooh, auction off to raise money. Your masseuse has arrived. <laughs> I'll reach out after my back row. Yeah, it's. Yeah, I Time really messed up not bringing the two fans. I did. Well, this is probably the first day in the last several months that we've been out that it's warm enough to need one. And it was only like 73 when we left the house. It warmed up really fast. Yeah, it did. The clouds went away and the sun came out to cook me. <laughs> and me and you both. Oh, let's read back. Fishing in Mid-South. John, I just took your... I just look your wife in the eyes and say, Honey, it's hot anywhere you go. That's what I tell my girlfriend and it works. <laughs> Free pink eye. Uh. Jody said free pink eye. I said, was somebody getting a sticker? I mean, I hope nobody's rubbing a sticker on their face, whether it's been on Jody's tush or not. Hey, there's some weirdos out there. You just never know. Different strokes for different folks. I mean, I know it's not the best, but there's a clean towel down there if you want me to get it wet with some lake water. Yeah. Oh, no, I've got water in the bottle right Maybe here. Maybe it's time to jump in the lake water. I, I had said if I had a bathing suit, I had done dipped in it. Uh, Brandon wants to know if you've done any new experimental freeze-dried candies. Oh, several. So. I have uh, freeze-dried blue gummy sharks. I have freeze-dried uh, spree. I've got some orange creamsicles, some ice cream sandwiches. Some fudge sickles, got some strawberries, got some sour gummy bears, uh, some new sour taffy, um, some taffy that tastes like the peak drink, so it's strawberry coconut cream. Let's see what else is new. We're always trying new stuff. I mean, there's over 60, 60 to 70 different items at my store that's freeze dried. Got some freeze dried moon pies. Uh, Hopefully, that's a good start for you, Brandon. And some oatmeal cream pies. <laughs> I got six What's up, that cookies. one guy, T O G? He said he says your son says her freeze dried strawberries are real good. Oh yeah, he likes those. I'd say those. Hi, Philip. 
Those and the fruit roll-ups are his favorites, I believe. I mean, Mid-South, uh, I'm not sure exactly what you're looking for, but Dana's from up here, or the Chattanooga area, and I'm or, from Florida, but we fished the Chattanooga area. Or in Chattanooga. I realized them Florida broads were no good, so I came up here to get me a Tennessee girl. Mm -hmm. And look, I took one of y'all's women, and I'm taking some of y'all's catfish and fishing spots. Bob, he ate that whole bag of freeze-dried Skittles you gave me. Yeah, I know. You told me about that. Yeah, Brandon, those were for his wife and girls, since he didn't need them. Yeah, I'm just going to start carrying bags around in my purse. <laughs> Jody said she turned into a scratch and sniff sticker. <laughs> <coughs> she did, though. No, Brain, uh, Bob, we are not messing up a freeze dryer to do to do Skittle or a freeze dried skipjack in it. That would that would, would ruin a multi thousand dollar unit. Right. Yeah, plus when it hit the water, it would just disintegrate. But yeah, that I would ruin a machine. Your hook would stay in it. Well, imagine trying to clean the machine and get that fish smell yeah, out of the my metal. My whole store would smell like that. Right? Yeah. Ew. I yeah, that, that. Fish. <laughs> Once you pop, you can't stop. <laughs> How you guys do it to have boats with no shade? <laughs> yeah, that is definitely the sun Brandon, is Brandon and Bob. Both their boats are just wide open like that. So is Daryl. So we wanted to drag another spot. There's a flat closer to the dam that I've been wanting to try, but when I went over there, there was nothing, nothing on the flat. And then I checked Brandon's flat next to the deep, and that was empty. So then we rolled back here to this creek, and that we're marking everywhere, but haven't gotten a bite yet. Yeah, it looks like there's a breeze coming. We are using frozen skipjack, so that could be a delay in the bite why it falls a little bit under there. Come on, Been working all week and had had a chance to get out and skipjack fish today before we came fishing. Yep, next week we'll have to get out and get us some bluegill. Yep, next week we're going to get ready for the live bait challenge. Skipjack Cindy, hi, hi. Hub says he can't smell skipjack anymore. I bet if it was freeze dried, you could. We fish, Cindy Poo. Welcome in, Cindy. 12 folks, welcome in. I'll just pop up every now and again, check chat. Yeah, it seems like we got a little bit of a breeze now coming yeah. from behind us. Hopefully it doesn't kick up so much and it tries to shove the boat around. I mean, I'll throw a sock out if it does, but it definitely Ooh, feels better. Please. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Mother Nature. Thank you, Lord. Hopefully I didn't miss anybody. 14 folks in here. Welcome, welcome. 
Oh, I see what it was. Cindy called Mid South Midi, and I thought it said Muddy, so I was going through looking to see if Muddy Waters was in here. Huh? Chris Flores, or there's another Muddy too. She called him Midi. That's what it was. Yeah, so just in case any of the folks in here don't know, we have another tournament next Saturday for the Live Tournament Fishing League. And that's going to be a live bait challenge. So you have to use live bait. So I'm going to try floating uh, skipjack under balloons down at the dam, and hopefully we can link up with some big old fish. Also, next month, the gathering is coming up. Yep, yep. The gathering is next month. Looking forward to seeing 16th, everybody. 17th, and 18th? Or, no, oh, let me just. I'm not sure it's your phone, it but I think I can. Lucky there's a breeze, not a gust. Yeah, you're right, Philip. Very lucky it's just a breeze, not a it. gust. Breezes are welcome right now. It's sweltering. Yeah, a nice little breeze helps. What was I looking for? The oh, your calendar. Well, I don't even know where your calendar is on here. I don't think it's in my calendar. But if I see. The calendar, I know which. Oh, here, let me put it on there for you. I know which. Uh, yeah, you have way more stuff on your phone than I have on mine. <laughs> yeah, I have like five pages of apps. So, huh? Here's the calendar. So the moon's still up. Here's here's May. So I think 16th, 17th, 18th. 17th, 18th, and 19th. Oh. 16th is a Thursday. Okay. So next month, the 17th, 18th, and 19th, we will have the gathering. It'll be at Hickson, T uh, Tennessee, at Chester Frost Park in Hickson, Tennessee. And that's put on by basically all the guys. Everybody who fishes Tennessee is a sponsor of it. Uh, Bob, Brandon, me. Uh, but the main guy who puts it on is Daryl from Trophy Seekers Outdoors. But John and, and Bob and have, are going to do some cooking for us. Yeah, we're going to have some pulled pork. Bob and I are going to be smoking some pulled pork for you awesome folks. Hopefully you guys like it. Uh, there's a big fish tournament. Uh, longest fish tournament. Let me change that to longest. And the winner of that gets a $1,000 prize. That Saturday at noon is when the official get together starts where the food will be all the giveaways. So we'll be there for a few hours. Um, but I plan on being there for all day, Friday, all day, Saturday. Um, I'm not sure about Sunday yet since it ends at noon and we live like 45 minutes away. Anyway, I haven't decided on Sunday yet. We might be having to take Philip back. Oh yeah, that's right. If, if Phil, if, my boy Felipe comes down here. I'll be taking him home Sunday. Yeah, he's still got a few days of school after that. Don't you just love waking from the side? No, I hate waking from the side. <laughs> There will also be some YouTubers from other parts in the U.S. that will come and visit with us and stuff, but I don't know who exactly. I've heard some names, but I don't want to speak out of turn in case something's changed. Say, so let this rock and stop for trying to read chat again. It's a completely free event, and there's so many things given away. Oh, yeah, lots of giveaways.
Geez, we talk about the breeze and the breeze goes away. Yeah, I think if I had on shorts, my legs would be blistered already. Oh, yeah, my, yeah, you're right. That might not be good. I'm going to have weird little patches through the whole thing. Yeah, it's about the season for night fishing for me. Also, if some of y'all don't know, tonight, um, Team My Bad Dude will be on Fields to Waters, the bait shop. Uh, talking about how they traveled 9,000 miles to win a tournament. Um, and then after that, there'll be uh, TSO will be live at 9. Chad says he goes live when he says he can, but Dustin goes live whenever he wants to. So Dustin will be live tonight at 9. Tomorrow at 8, you have two stands fishing. We'll be live tomorrow night at eight. Tomorrow to night at nine will be Chef Jody showing us how she likes to bug James. And then that's the only lives I know for the rest of the week. If there's anybody else, then you guys know, and I don't. Stand day is what? Oh, stand day is Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Fishing with South and try to find someone who will let me bunk with them i require indoor plumbing and air conditioning yeah. yeah i definitely need some air conditioning right now does anyone know if the gathering place has restroom showers for tent campsite i know they have a bunch of restrooms around i just don't know about showers yeah daryl would probably be daryl yeah to i was ask. gonna say you might be able to reach out to daryl and ask him i would think that they do since it's primitive camping over there i mean but there is a big a big uh, body of water you can just jump in very water shoes lots of rocks oh yeah <laughs> Jody, yes, I showered in them numerous times. So there's your answer, Mid South. I'm shocked we haven't even gotten a bite yet. I see lots of night fishing in my, in my future. <laughs> Do what? I said I see lots of night fishing in my oh, future. Oh yeah, I see it too. Well, that's fine. Come home from work, feed the dogs at 7, and then come out here. Yeah. Only have a little bit of last little part of it. Just I don't want to keep you out till midnight, 1 o'clock, when you got to be up going to the candy store, you know, in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to take a jump in. <laughs> That's really saying something. That is saying something. Maybe it's time to face the boat and drag against the current. That seems to be a whole lot of current. No, it's only running like 10, 11,000. Jody, will you take me and Ashley out on your boat? Oh, hold on. Let me go back. Missed a couple people. Stan, three. Hello. Y'all keep him busy in chats. So when the rod goes down, I can be on it first. Yes, they have fire rings too. Jody, will you take me and Ashley on your boat? Jody said yes. She likes camping and is excited. Catfish Terry saying hi. Stand three. Okay, so I need the catfish nerd stuff. What's the water temp so far? Bait, how deep are you? Water um, temp is 71.8. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it just dropped. Yeah. It was 73. 
So the water temp's in the se- low 70s, which is crazy because it was 65 earlier. And about, Using, 20, and about 26 feet deep. Well, it was earlier this week, Monday. Uh, we're about 20 to 30 feet deep using frozen skipjack, which is not ideal, but it's what I got right now. So that should be the nerd stuff. Oh, and we're dragging. We're dragging um, going between 0.5 and 0.6. I mean, honey, you get the next fish anyway. They don't have to keep me busy in chat. <laughs> Figured I'd, if I drag you out in the sauna, I at least got to let you get the first couple. I was like, ha ha, I was real close. Real close to what? Bob guessed, because he knows the area we're fishing in, so he was guessing depth and water temp and stuff. Uh, Mid South. <laughs> Bob, like I know John's drag lines. Well, yeah, I saw the I saw the guy you had out here two weeks ago, following me and my brother around. Let me air tag you. Oh, I'm sure there's an air tag on this boat from one of them. Yeah. Right. Do we get a little bit more of that breeze back, please? Pour some mud on me. <laughs> I didn't need to drink it. Like uh, what? Flat was that? Flash dance where the water hits her. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I have my hair pulled back. Stand three. I know the feeling. I can tell you the depth almost anywhere on the upper James without a depth finder. <coughs> Stan, he knows because Brandon's brought him over here to this spot to fish. Someday we'll have to make it out to the James. Yeah, I'd like to go out to the James. I think fishing a tidal river would be crazy cool trying to figure it out. And Bob says I can't prove nothing. Oh <laughs> no. I might be able to prove. Uh. Trying to ignore the rods, hoping one gets buried, you know. Oh yeah. And next week, it well, like I said, next week the highs are only like 71, 73 all week. So, oh yeah, I'll probably end up being busy next week. That's just how it is. Stan, I don't know about crazy cool, but definitely crazy frustrating. I'm going to road trip to the James for one of the tournaments. Not sure which one yet. That was Brandon. Probably new waters, right, Brandon? I mean, that would be new for you. All the Tennessee guys go to the James for the tournament, and all the James guys come to the Tennessee for the tournament. One of them Potomac guys will win. Which don't speed going through Virginia. They'll get you. There's certain parts of Tennessee you don't want to speed through either. Jeez, I Especially don't know. Especially Georgia. Georgia, too. It goes from 65 in Georgia to 55 in Tennessee 
I'd be doing 65 and people are flying by me. That would be a fun one. Yeah, Brandon's asking how sufficient in October. Tow trip. Wow, this is kind of shocking with everything I'm seeing. Been alive, been live almost an hour. Been alive a lot longer than that, but been yeah. live almost an hour. Hey, Circle Hook Productions, welcome in. I uh, haven't gotten anything yet. I've uh, been out dragging for about an hour. I have some frozen bait, so it's got a thaw. But I was kind of expecting to get bit by now. But welcome into the channel. I appreciate you subscribing. Stan, October, I thought you were talking about online catfish tournaments. Any time's good except June. Burrito, Catfish, and Lady. Hello. Welcome in. Well, Stand 3 October is when the New Waters Tournament is. That's why he was asking specifically about October. It's kind of cold up there. In Virginia? Yeah, in October. I mean, it's starting to get cold here, depending on what, what day in October. Yeah. Yeah, fall's definitely kicked in. and First couple of weeks aren't bad, but the last couple of weeks can be windy. And Go back and make sure I didn't miss nothing. Yeah, Bob, that a uh, river switch tournament would be fun. And Burrito saying hi to everybody. Chickamauga angling woman. what my food feels like when I cook on convection. <laughs> Lady, it's hot. Oh, sorry, baby. Circle hook, I haven't fished in a year. I knew. Phil says convection has a breeze, though. Yeah. Well, Circle Hook, you need to get out there and go fishing, man. I don't know what, what would happen if I didn't fish for a year. Philip, are you feeling any better? Stan wants to know what kind of line that orange line is. It's really bright. Uh, that is Berkeley Big Game. Um, I think think they call it Solar. Philip's doing good. Just still recovering. Good.
And then even though you didn't ask, the blue line over on the left side, Sparkly uh, Prospect Chrome. So Berkeley, Berkeley line is on all the rods. I just, I've always had amazing luck with Berkeley. So that's what's on the fishing reels. Oh, Daryl's in here. Trophy seekers outdoors. He says, looks like another skunk lab. He's not, <laughs> he's not fishing my spots. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Yeah, we were just telling everybody about the gathering. I don't know. I've skunked in some of your spots too, Daryl. And so have you. So, I mean... Bob, Bob got on my boat and took all my fresh bait last night. So, I'm having to use frozen today. Sometimes it's fishing and sometimes it's catching. Yeah, apparently it's only fishing today. Oh, well, hey, it still beats the day at work. <laughs> What's the gathering help me out here? Brandon, we offer guided tours of Daryl's spots at the gathering. <laughs> hey, Jody, thanks for sharing that. Yeah, the spot I was trying to go, Daryl, when I went over there, it didn't have anything, but there was a new flat I wanted to try. But it was it was a ghost town. And then when we came back here, it looked really exciting. I think actually this is about the first time we haven't had the screen full of marks. Watch, not marking anything, now we'll catch. I'll take it. <laughs> The wind kicked up just enough to pop our speed up to 0.8, though. Yeah, I felt good, though. <laughs> Bob says, you're guaranteed a skunk on one of Daryl's spots. Daryl told Brandon if he can make money taking people around and selling his spots to do it. On the words of JJ on good times, I know from Jody. Fish shallow, John. I mean, I am shallow. I mean, I'm shallow-ish. Shallow I'm 15. 23. Stan says you'd have to pay me to fish Daryl's spots. But we will end up shallow because we're going to go, we're going to drag right into this cove up here, which will go really shallow really quick. I mean, Stan, I know you said he did, somebody would have to pay you, but he did put Woody on a hundo, so at least one of his spots is pretty nice. You're too deep, John. Heard that before. I'm making our way to the shower. John has never heard that before. Well, my wife just told you you're wrong. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. Ah! Well, I guess I'm not the only one that loses them. That was a really nice takedown. Yep, fish off circle hook. Fish took the bait, so the fish took the body chunk and left with it. Nothing but a scale lift. 
could have been a gar, I guess. I clean my hooks off every time. So. The wind's starting to slide us over here. Like a nice hit. It was just nice to have some action. Yeah. Um, how far out you want that planer board? I mean, I've already locked it down. Um, oh, okay. We're turning a little bit to avoid the buoy up there, and so we can go into that creek in front of us. I was originally thinking about Ooh. going along the front like normal, but when Daryl said I'm too deep, I was like, well, let's try going a little shallower then. I'll be back in a minute to re-chat, y'all. <laughs> Brandon says, I like a sensible 14 odd or 12 odd. <laughs> sensible. <laughs> Catfish 34 rod right, quintuple action circle hooks. Brandon does like to run chunky rigs. Oh, lots of chats. Stan says, Don't worry, it was a dink. Every time John hangs bottom, he screams fish on. That was not a hang up. That was exciting for four seconds. Got robbed. Scam. Yeah, I got scammed right there. Should I bring my six or eight catfish hooks to the gathering? I mean, that's awful small, number six or number eight. Facts, mid-south, 12 at minimum. Even though it was a snag, not a fish. I don't know. I didn't see it go down. <laughs> Dana did, but she's pretty good at knowing the difference between a snag and a fish. Dean Cooks. Yeah, the contest is for longest fish. Daryl screams fish on just for the fun of it. Woody knows how it feels to catch a fish. Kidding, Daryl. Doesn't matter. That's big fish. Water. Depends mid-south. You catching bait or catfish. Stand three. Hey, mid-south. I'm stand three. Nice to meet you. Daryl says it's a rough crowd. And Brandon's talking about some big old shark hooks. Catfish King oh 34 odd. What? This is hanging on by a thread. Oh, geez. Okay. Yeah. 
Josh wishes he had watermelon. Yeah, watermelon would be nice. Nice, cold, juicy, ripe watermelon. Brandon says he's not never caught a fish on the chunky rod. She jinxed it. it. Four people said, same answer. You call me out one cup, bro. Mid-South Honest Advice, prepare for the fish you want to catch because you're in waters where they are at. Exactly. Uh, yeah, you, uh, in the Tennessee, you definitely need to fish for what's available here. You don't want to be under undersized and break line, bent hooks, all that good fun stuff. Did it go down fast or slow, honey, since you were the one looking at it? Oh my God, I just saw it go down fast. Oh, okay. Hey, run over there. Yeah, I think I've drugged this area enough to know the, where the snags are. I know there's a couple further up here, but... Twenty folks in here, welcome in. Um, no, we sure didn't just pay fifty one dollars to call John. Oh, somebody's trying to steal from us. That means I might have to duck under and get the bank a call. Looks like he's seeing this Friday. <laughs> Mid South said something about catching Jody, and she said it took her too long to catch James. Stand three. That should be big bait that time during the gathering. Two. Yeah, nothing should be coming out of PayPal. All right, folks, she had to go down below and call the bank. Somebody's trying to buy pizza, and obviously we're on the boat, so. Caught a cherry garlic skipjack, so that's why I use cherry garlic skipjack. Double wedding at the gathering. Why don't we make it a triple wedding? Maybe there's somebody else out there that we can find to get hitched at the gathering. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join this fisherman and this fisherwoman in holy hook, hook money. I don't know, I'm trying to come up with something, but it didn't work.
The dog doesn't like me talking to you guys. Hey, Lisa Elliott, good evening. Fish in the Mid-South, that's how you get hurt, man, saying that kind of stuff in this chat. You better watch out. Tag blasted dog. James would never. Sorry, guys, having a hard time reading chat. Hey, Carpenter, what's up, man? Just out here dragging. I do not know how I put... All right, figured that out. Fat fingers hitting buttons. Yeah, thanks for uh, pointing. That. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Oh, you gonna give us a whooping? Uh, Mid-South, the whooping is, I think, what Jody was saying about James. Um, old Carpenter Catfish thinks he's going to put a whooping on everybody. Uh, he might. He won last year. He is the odds-on favorite, I guess. course we're just going to go find your spots and uh, sore lip them all for you <laughs> bob thanks for the pizza yeah no only thing you can whoop us at is a pie in contest We'll start barking back at the dog he keeps on. Pie. We all love pie. Carpenter doesn't like pie. Are you even American, bro? Uh-oh. Carpenter catfish is a Russian asset. Sent here by Kim Jong-un of North Korea. don't like pie. There's got to be at least one kind of pie. Apple pie, cherry pie. My favorite is banana cream pie, since we're going to talk food. My poor wife. Savory kind of guy. Premiere at 5.30. Well, wow. 
Well, Bob, if I don't catch a fish by 5.30, I may have to leave my own chat. It's kind of shocking. I was thinking about going and dragging below chat state. Or behind chat state, I guess. Well, I'm not joking, man. I've, I'm just amazed we haven't caught anything yet. I can hear her underneath. Apparently somebody's tried to charge like 10 things in a row. Bite fourth rod far left. Yeah, I missed it. Could have been a snag. I'm fishing too deep. Thanks, Brandon. Well, I mean, I put a video out today that had fish on it, too. So you can go back and watch that video. At least we caught something then. thought you did your premieres on Tuesday anyway, Bob. Come on, fish. Go to undisclosed location. Jody, it's too early in the year for them to spawn, man. In four foot of water. Well, I'm heading into this cove back here that gets shallow real quick. Yeah, if catfish are going on bed now, man, it's going to be tough fishing at the gathering. I'll say that much. They in the wet right stand, always in the wet part. No, Joe, John, fish 12 to 5 feet. No, Jake. Well, like I said, I am heading in shallow. It's going to be our spot right off that way. Getting ready to make a turn and go into it. Two places with the sun, deep holes or shallow flats. So I scanned deep holes when I first got here, and I scanned some shallow flats when I got here. And there was nothing. That's why I came back to this creek, and that's where I was marking. But like I said, I'm getting ready to start heading into this cove, and it starts getting shallow real quick.
middle of the channel. Yeah, I checked. I checked the ledges in the middle when we were when we first got here. But of course, I was out Monday and I was fishing really super shallow and I didn't get anything Monday. So. Yeah, it was really overcast this morning. It wasn't even really the sun out. Put it together a deep hole in front of a flat with bait. Yeah, catfish math, two plus two is seven. I don't know. I'll say 2023, I, I knew what I was doing, but apparently 2024, I don't. No, actually, we caught a really, caught a nice fish head, dragging into this cove we're heading to two Mondays ago, 44. I doubt he's still here. If I don't catch a fish, I got to use coffee skip jerk. Josh, I'd take any kind of skip jerk that was working right now. I'm wondering if I should have brought Shad with me too. I didn't because the last two trips, they only bit on, on skip jerk. So I decided not to bring Shad. Now I'm wondering if I should have had Shad out there too. All right, put your left arm in the air, stick your tongue out and jump on your right foot. Works every time. Nope. <laughs> uh, I'll be goofy, I don't care. Yell suey here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Maybe I need to tap like James says. Of course, I just scared every fish for eight miles away. I mean, Stan, we all do YouTube for entertainment. I mean, I don't mind being goofy. I mean, I want to say during um, Chad's live last Saturday, we caught a fish and I was back here dancing. Trying to do a catfish jig. <laughs> more complicated. If it was too complicated, I probably wouldn't have done it.
Say Goofy again. Okay, Jody. <laughs> what kind of shout out do you need, Bob? Watch Bumpin' Bobcat. Okay, there's your shout out. Brandon talking about his Louisiana trip, or Bob is with Brandon. So we are definitely getting shallower as we're going in this creek, or cove. All right, we're getting ready to go over an old bridge. So we may start seeing some stuff get a little snaggy. Hopefully nothing actually hangs up. See, now that we're going shallower, I'm not marking any fish, but that happens. I think that's a snag. At least it didn't get hung up. Yeah, now I know, Stan, but you know how it is. You can always second guess yourself. That's why I looked deep, I looked shallow, and I looked in the middle, and that's kind of where I was marking them, so that's where I came. Almost wondering if that blue rod... I guess it's just... Coming over the rough bottom. So it gets really shallow on this side of the boat.
Yeah, Bob, I know they get skittish too shallow. That's why I like the boards to be spread out. But yeah, I checked deep holes, I checked ledges, I checked flats off the ledges, and this became the choice. I got some dinks messing with that orange rod over there. Well, that's good. You're, I mean, I know it's not good your videos are going to slow down, Bob, but it's good you're getting busier. But no, it was your PayPal card. I haven't used my PayPal card in months since last either. year. Okay, I know. I haven't used mine either. It's in my wallet, but it's only there's like some stuff that comes out of their bill pay. But my where where was where were these charges done at? I'm not sure. The only one that really had a name and was Papa John's. The other ones like said ESET Virus Protection. Um, Target.com. Because my debit card is in my dress, my nightstand next to our bed. Huh. That's crazy. Because I took it even, I just took it out of my wallet so I wouldn't accidentally use that card and not one of the other cards. Mm -hmm. So we had a snag on the, the blue rod over here on the orange planer board, but nothing. All the guys in chat are saying, go shallow, go deep. I guess it's just go anywhere other than where I am, because obviously yeah. they're not here. Well, we're going to go shallow. Yeah, we're going to go real shallow. How many pizzas got ordered? I don't know. But apparently they were trying to buy virus protection. They were trying to order pizza. They were trying to do a whole bunch of stuff. Let's see here. That's what that charge last night came uh -huh. through that got canceled. It was somebody seeing. Something called Ezekiel Gila Pay, Target.com, Papa John's, ESIP Antivirus. 5166 in pizzas. Um, SP, NSP Nutrition, eBay, Netflix. Like I said, they were just, they were on a roll. They were like, ooh, it keeps working. Buy more. Brandon says, order pizza to lead the authorities to their address. Right? Not the smartest. Somebody got my card five, six years ago when we went to the Peach Bowl in Atlanta. I guess they walked by and scanned. But see, that's what kills me. My, the, the PayPal card has been put up for months. Yeah, I don't know. 
Sounds like a college kid at a party weekend out scared. Party worked out scared you and got virus protection. <laughs> Their party is over. Artist been canceled. Their party needs to be over and they need to get oh, They tried to order them some Netflix too. I did that because I was like, no, wait, Netflix is mine. I was like, let me go back and look. I'm like, oh no, my Netflix just came in on Sunday, so that one's not mine either. <laughs> I had to double check the PlayStation Network that just came out, but that came out on my card too. So now that Wait for who? Mine comes out on my birthday in December. I think mine is every six months. Oh, okay. But it was on my card number. So. I know, right? Nice. Where's the clouds and need them? Yeah, there's still three or four that they can't do anything about until they go through because they can't do anything until them while they're pending. They have to complete. What? Well, you know Papa John's isn't going to go through right away because you got to leave a tip. Yeah, PayPal does, does all that tracking and all that stuff and... We have all this protection on our accounts and stuff because we have PayPal business for our businesses. Yeah, I kind of wish I got notifications from Square because I don't check that. And it didn't come across my phone like that. I mean, I check it, but not every day. <sighs> wow, this is... Well, we've got Miserable. What, three feet shallower. <laughs> so not quite there. Oof. I've got sunshine. He's saying, Brian's saying somebody's trying to Netflix and chill. Yeah. You ruined it. I did. You blocked it. Good. I did. They can do that on their own dime. I pay for enough streaming services already. <laughs> One Netflix account is enough. And Netflix and Hulu and Amazon and Peacock and I don't even know. Ooh. Oh no, I might get ready to in the live, this is kind of miserable. I mean, we're just starting to get where it goes shallower. <laughs> I know, but we're past our 90 minutes before we normally catch a fish. <laughs> That's okay. We still talk to everybody. Oh, I didn't. I didn't even know it. They had a little boat dock over here. This must be that yeah, for those apartment comps. Oh, those are apartments? I thought that was one gigantic house. Huh. I mean, there are some big houses over here, so I just thought it was a great big house. Brian says, don't look at me funny if I'm eating pizza with a new Target t-shirt and Netflix in the background <laughs> on the big shot tonight. I'm going to give you the stank eye. Brandon says, keep earning the watch time. Yes, exactly. Keep embarrassing myself, heard. Do anything for clout. This is just crazy. Why is it near? Because that boat was deeper down there. Well, because the water's the water. coming up, baby. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we can go get us some bait out of there. I don't have anything to fish for bait here. Shh. Don't give away bait spots. <laughs> Yeah, Stan, fishing is supposed to be relaxing until you're trying to create content.
I was relaxed until I started getting notifications that right. somebody's out spending my hard earned money. Like, hold up, if we're ordering pizza, I'm going to eat that pizza. Like, I guess we need to reach out to D, you know, HR for the bait shop and make sure that she can make sure one of her guests aren't, aren't using our debit cards what? and buying pizza because Brian is on the bait oh. shop. I thought you said Brandon was on there tonight. Well, they're guests, but remember, oh, that's right. is he always a... Uh, yeah. Yeah, so. No, it's 5.30. Everybody's about to jump out and go watch Bob's premiere video. Oh, Bob's got a premiere video. Their trip to uh, ah. Louisiana. He's been at home editing. Instead of working, been at home editing. I mean, he could be editing while he's working. The machines can do some of it. Sometimes you just have to get them started. He's not over there coloring them by hand. <laughs> that would be funny to watch Bob make stickers by hand. Hey, back when printing first started, I mean, it was that's kind of how it was. Yeah. 13 folks still in here. I appreciate you guys watching me skunk today. Awesome. Bobcat snuck around and hit a banana on my boat. And I haven't found it yet. It's a big old bird nest up there. Oh, yeah. Great place for a nest. You can keep it away from four legged predators, just not eagles. It's probably an osprey. What? Osprey. I think those are those black ones that got dive underwater, isn't it? I don't know. I know we have blue herons out here. I know we have seagulls from somewhere, but I don't remember seeing in previous years. But if I've seen them out here this year, I've seen ducks. I know when we were out Monday, we saw a bald eagle flying around, and it was like America. <laughs> Watching and tying skipjack rigs. Yeah, I need to get out and do some skipjack fishing. Yeah, that was him My. yesterday, watching YouTube and tying up, tying everything up, re, re spooling my, my line. Well, but yeah, I need to do skipjack sometime soon. Freezer's got even less in it since I have it in the cooler now than it did. Oh, well, that's another thing we can do in the evening. Yes, yeah, that's actually a better sunset. time to yeah. skipjack fishes. Oh, no, that's not. That's did it come free? No. I think we have a fish on. Yeah, we got a fish on. That's that board that jerked down earlier. Hey. Hey, Sampy's in here. Hey, Sampy. You are. No, how did you do that? I moved that. Yeah, you went the wrong way, baby. Uh, there we go. Stepping on my foot. Oh. Fuck that board tree. On the water edge. There you go. It's my first day fishing. I know. Mine too. I've never fished before in my life. I'll be back to reach out in a little bit, guys. Oh, 
Hey, it's a fishing show for all two of you that are finally still here. Ten. Is that what we needed? We needed Bobcat to leave for his little, his uh, premiere and then we're going to catch a fish. catfish. Jeez. You show them? Yep, right here. Alright, I'll be back to rechat in a minute. Right. Actually, I'll rechat now because I may have to cut it more bait. Don't let go of you. I mean, that fish was about 20 foot, Daryl. 20 foot? 20 foot deep. All right, that's... Philip says the fish were too busy ordering pizza, and now they're done. <laughs> Some about chicken livers from Target. I don't know what the chicken livers are about. Well, you can eat them or you can feed them the channels. Ah. Ooh. Oh, look, we started getting shallower and we did get fish. Maybe there's some to it. You probably need your charger, don't you? Oh, <laughs> I did not realize hey, I did not. Yeah, I just hooked up and was like, uh, well, that phone will be dead soon. Out of it. I'll plug up my phone. Huh, 20%. Uh-huh. All right. Just looks like people saying hello, hello, hello. Hello. Josh says, hooray, I want a free charter. <laughs> hey, Wabash Nate, welcome in. Finally caught a fish just a few minutes ago. Hey, marking some on the bottom. It's always a good sign on the right. We're, we're heading into fish. this cove. 
So we'll see if there's anything else back here. If you were watching last Monday, this is the cove. I came in and caught that 44. Did for Mad Cats and then stand three. Had to throw up like a 90 or 70, whatever it was. It was big. Crop <laughs> oh, lots of lots of marks, but I mean we've been seeing marks all the way out yonder too. It'll just take us fifteen minutes for to get to the hooks. <laughs> Yeah, it is, it is beautiful here, Wabash. I mean, it's 83, so it's a little warm, clouds. but... Clouds sure helping. Every once in a while, we get a little breeze, but I forgot to bring my fans. Well, I'm glad you saw that because it would have just died on everybody. Yeah. Yeah, we're supposed to have a, I guess, a cold front come through over the weekend here to take it down from being in the 80s to being in the 70s, which is more what our temperature should be now this time of year anyway. Huh. They tried to order Domino's next. Look, a $70 purchase with card 3240 at Domino's was declined. <laughs> They're still trying. Yeah, they've shut the card off now, so it's not going to get free. I'm sure I'll have gone back in a couple of days once everything goes through. Almost felt a breeze for a half second. I got excited, they did. 11 folks in here, welcome. Bite third rod from the left, far left from right, Josh. Well, Josh, uh, we're dragging, so you're going to know when we get a bite because it could be a snag. Nice marks.
Yeah, next week we'll be out some point next week going live, but I think we're going to night fish next week. Start getting ready to move into the hot summer patterns. Fishing night time. You're going to time me out. Oh, you're trying to get timed out? You're in timeout. clouds 13 folks still in here thank you thank you that's weird all of a sudden we dropped down to point three i guess we got i don't know maybe some wind went away Well, once it gets to where it's shining in the phone, I'm going to have to turn it off. Yeah, it's nice to be out here fishing on a weekday. Just being able to do that. Yeah. Weekends do suck out here. So many dang pleasure boaters here. I don't know. I'm prepping for the wife's first farmer's market. Oh, he's saying he doesn't know if somebody's coming to the gathering. Okay. Took me a second to realize what they're all saying. be a lot more inclined to do farmers markets if they were indoors. <laughs> There's the thought about being out in the heat. Doesn't sit well with my soul. Yeah, we actually were supposed to have an event at our local middle school this weekend, but they canceled it because they couldn't get enough vendors to sign up for it. Economy's so trash right now. Yeah, but that's okay. They're giving me a lot of extra bags of candy I already had made, and that's how I'm taking a day off work. True. Yep, thanks to that, I got my baby out here today. Might even be able to leave early tomorrow. Well, I thought you were going to. We were talking about going up to Catfish Sumo yeah. and seeing Daryl and Dam. He kept, he, I don't know, he kept saying, bite on this rod, bite on that rod, and then he put in there something about um, are you gonna, are you gonna not ban him? He said, um, mute him. I thought I muted him, but apparently it says ban. So I'll take care of that when I get home. What? Yeah. I said, I banned him, deleted his comment. 
Who was that? Josh. He kept saying, bite on this rod, bite on that rod. And when I was like, dude, we're dragging. That's not a bite. It's a snag. He said, are you going to time me out? So when I went to time him out, it came back and said I banned him. Ouch. So I have to go in on my laptop to unban him, I believe. I think I have to go into the studio. Oh, you just cost yourself some watch time. You can still watch. You just can't comment. Oh. I thought it just banned them just all out altogether and banned them from your page, but they didn't even find it or something. Will I get freeze dried Skittles? Who's that? Daryl. When the gathering? Dude, I, at the gathering, we're going to have some. I gave you some the last time we went out fishing. You want some more? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. He's just timed out for 300 seconds. Ah! Oh, so it's like putting some five minutes. Out. He needs to go and time out for five minutes. So I guess once we get past the sunk boat, we get ready to reel everything in, and I guess turn around and drag out. That way at least we're not staring into the sun oh, for a little come bit. On. Not Are you sure, Daryl? I could have sworn when you and I went out the last time, I had some Skittles in my truck and I gave them to you. Well, if I forgot to give them to you, I know I gave James some, Jody some, Bobcat, Brandon, Brandon ate everybody else's. <laughs> I gave Josh some. I thought I gave you some, Daryl. I apologize, man. I may have had it in my truck and just forgotten. We'll make sure to get him some. But yes, I will make sure you get some freeze dried skillets. Skillets, that's what he called them that one time. Freeze dried skillets. That was hilarious. All right, well, we are dropping shallower and shallower every foot we go. I hate you. No, I don't hate you. If I hated you, I wouldn't have ever fished with you. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't give you crap if I didn't like you. What is that? Sh oh, that's just the lake shining the sun reflection, I think. Oh, he's over there fishing off of it. Yeah, a lot of people fish off jet skis. At least it's nice he's not trying to do circles around yes. us and stuff. Yes, when I first saw him coming this way, I'm like, no, come on. No, 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 no. But if he's fishing, he's all right. All right, two counting hook up with a fish. You must double mine. Well, since you're the one who normally doubles mine, I figure I'm going to end up halving yours.
sure what this black one's got running there. So we've got 10 awesome people in here. Don't see any new chats to read. Since we've gone below 15 feet, we have not marked anything. That's possibly a fish on that side, and same over here. Yeah. And so that would be over here near that first board and. That other one would be that yellow board. Alright, well, let's do it. Double it up. Double the pleasure, double the fun. Someone like a person saying help. We're just chilling. Josh says, guess who's back? Yeah. <laughs> who's back? Now he wants me to time out Daryl. Apparently he went and got timed out on somebody else's channel. I guess I guess Josh is going to be known as the bait making troll now. It asks you to time people out? He asked me to time oh. Daryl out. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to learn all that if I'm going to host for you one day while I'm at work or something. Moderate, yeah. All three of you go down. Challenge accepted. All right, we're down to ten feet.
That's a snag, how slow it's going down. Oh, yeah. Come on, it's come on, snag. There we go. <coughs> oh, it's snaggy back in here. <coughs> Yeah, I know. I saw it. Just thinking of doing something. Yeah, I didn't know when you timed somebody out how long it timed them out for. Actually, when I hit timeout, I thought it would tell me or ask me how long I wanted to time them out for. I know we're getting shallower quick. Yeah, that's why I was anchor up and just cast out places. I just think I hope the planner board makes it. If you ask us, we can choose between 10 seconds and a day. Ah. Yeah, Josh, I'm ready for a big takedown too. I forgot Phillips, a moderator. He said he can choose how long. Yeah. On the computer, I guess it gives you more options. Josh said he was the guinea pig. No, actually, you weren't, Josh. I, I actually did a full-fledged blocking band on somebody or had them blocked on when I was fishing with Daryl, I don't know, a month and a half back. Somebody kept being rude. So I asked oh, one of my moderators to just plan out blocking. All right, we're going to have to get ready to turn around. There's some guys over to our right bank fishing. I don't want to get into their stuff. I'm sure they're cast all the way out here. Maybe. So are you wanting, I mean, it's sick. So are you wanting to keep fishing or are you wanting to get ready to head home? Because we had to be home to feed the dogs. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this live. Thanks, everybody, for being in here. Rude, just plain rude and obnoxious. Thanks, Brian. I appreciate it. Well, it was a catch and show. We caught one. Brian B, I'm going to get you.
All right, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this, guys. Uh, we got to get home and feed puppies. Get our dogs taken care of. Wish we would have gotten you guys more than the one, uh, but that's all we got today. Thanks, um, thanks everybody who tuned in and hung around for as long as y'all did. At least we were finally able to get y'all all on one, or get us all on one. Hey, this is John Catfish Hunters TV for me and Dana. Catch you on the next one. Bye.